Hello everyone, welcome back to our big channel with Paris. Our channel is all about celebrating our technology, creativity. This is my new home, yay! Look at that, the background, do you like it? It's from Ghibli movie. <laughs> and yeah, let me show you. Ta -da. Hi guys, welcome. The short clip intro you just saw is a little experiment I did with any cast maker but it's no longer called any cast maker if if you have been following us for a while we talked about this app a while ago since when it just started launching and it's the animation maker that you can make your anime in vr i was really excited when i start using it and now they rebranded themselves to Ribla studio and we've been talking about the Ribla. The Ribla broadcast we talked about is a face tracking Windows app that you can you can check our video if you're interested. So basically, they they're just under the same company, so they rebrand any cast maker to Ribla Studio. It's on Oculus now, and then the biggest update, and I think. It will attract a lot of people is that you can import your own VRM avatar and lots of other assets you want to play around with this app. So in today's episode, I will show you how I made this little clip, the intro, how I imported my own avatar, VRM file and the background image. So first, let's talk about how I imported my VRM file inside. You need to, first of all, connect your Oculus Quest with your computer, of course, and you will see the folder. Open the file in, in the Oculus Quest. You will see folder DM, DICM. And when you click in, you will see Rebla folder. The Rebla folder is the folder you need to put all your assets and VRM file in. And once you click in the uh, Rebla folder, you will see they're already divided into little folders like background, sound, prop, model. So here it is, the image we checked online. They got all the supported file there that you can see what kind of file you can import in, what, which file works. For example, the prop folder is support the OBJ file. The sound folder support WAV file. I'll leave it here for you to check. Make sure you, you only upload it, the supported file. For us, we uploaded my avatar VRM file in the model part, and then the background, we downloaded two images from Ghibli free image that you can download. I wanna use as my background. You'll see that, you already saw that in the intro video, and um, yeah. So that's the old file I have for now to make the little intro. So let's dive into it right now. I'll show you step by step how it make it happen. So now I'm in Ribla Studio. Used to be any cast maker. And the exciting part about it is you can import your own VRM file, your avatar. So all you need to do is to drag your avatar in voila <laughs> i'm there you can see and then this is the camera you can play around to see which angle what kind of shots you got so basically the same with the any cast maker but it gets some new functions especially the avatar vrm file that's a game changer because we were talking about it before we wanted to make anime with our own avatar of course not the one the existing one it's fun but it's more personalized if you have your own avatar and i tried a little bit the functions are almost same um there's another one another function that's different before i can only record maybe 15 seconds now i can record up to two minutes so let's just try as if i'm recording the studio with a background like for my intro video 
And here's the background photo. There is a 3D asset I'll show you that I showed last time. This is actually really fun. I wish they have more like this. You can also import your own 3D assets, which is another exciting part. But for me, I wanted to show, since Ghibli have free photos to use, I downloaded two background photos and I really like this room. So I'm like, okay, let's try with that as a background photo. I find it a bit difficult to drag the photo. That's like a tricky part of you like trying to figure out. You have to like pull the trigger both hand and then drag it and then put it in the background as a background. Of course the size is very important. Make sure it's actually you can like, you know, that's the thing. You can put it everywhere because you can move around the camera and your avatar like that. <clears throat> this is another interesting one. It's a fan. <laughs> I like it. Although it doesn't really make sense to have fan inside a room. I just want to show you this little fan icon and you can move around this fan. You can make it strong wind or just some breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my avatar. <laughs> Having a good time. Anyway, I don't think in this situation I need a fan. Just wanted to show you. So this is one camera. Let me do the little intro. So another fun part I find, which is different than before, is for example, when you push the actor. So now I become the actor in front of the camera. You can see me moving. You can record. On um, your left hand, the panel, you get this leg. You can press on the leg so you can actually move around. In the previous app, they don't have this function. And then uh, with the eye icon, you can also have this little eye icon. But I think you can just follow the, to look at it. Make sure you're looking at the, the right direction. That's also a good one. Okay, so let me try, okay? <laughs> so this is the screen you don't have to care about that that's a camera for now but you can play with the camera later so for now you just need to act let me just do the, my little intro here let's see record hello everyone welcome back to our big channel with Paris our channel is all about celebrating our technology and creativity. This is my new home. Yay. Look at that. The background. Do you like it? It's from Ghibli movie. <laughs> and yeah, let me show you. Ta -da. This is the recording for the little intro. And then you just finished up. Go to camera. Now, when you play it, you can see yourself acting. Oh, how cool that is! So, I see myself acting. You see that little the eye icon, the little box? So, that's where like, I'm kind of aiming it, like looking at it. That's the anchor point, you can say. And then, because I'm moving around, so if I want to direct in a certain way and look closer and use the camera to make it more dynamic. So this is more like a TV show, so it's not like really a movie anyway. <laughs> so let's try with recording, use the camera. You can just press the recording. How does it work? Okay. Okay. Can go closer. Make sure it looks like the background is the place. Looks like I'm really there. Boom. 
Yeah, there you go. Top. Again, there's one thing they did not fix. Probably it's because it is a hard job to do. They, you can't record your sound, your voice. So you have to do voiceover. Again, for anime, you always have voiceover actor, actress. So I guess that's maybe common sense <laughs> to have voiceover on top. So now you get this video. My, the camera's moving. Oh, I love that. This is my favorite part. When you're inside, you can see yourself acting. <laughs> you're like a movie star and the camera just like floating in the air. This camera work is not that good. I get it, but I just really want to show you. <laughs> and yeah, once you have a video, you can also add, okay, let's go back to me. Stop, go back to me. You can also add another camera. So here it is. This is icon. You can also add another camera to maybe do another shot with the same acting. This is the tricky part is the because it's 2D background, so you have to make sure it's not outside a frame, otherwise it will look fake. Maybe this one I just not moving the camera. Let's see. And that's as you can see that's shot two, that's shot one, and shot two. And camera let's record again. So yeah. Again, like there's no sound, so that's okay if I just talking right now, because later on I'll just add my voiceover on top. It doesn't really matter what you say then. It's more about adding on later. So once you have like around 25 seconds, you stop it. There you go. Now you have two shots. One is moving camera's move, movement and you can add it later on and then second shot I make a still you can like and and then you go to render you will have shot one or shot two I assume <laughs> it's supposed to export it oh here Oh yeah, here. Oh, once you, you have to, okay. In the rendering, once you play it, it rendered, and it will show up this film icon, and then this shot one and shot two will show up. Now you can begin rendering and save. Yes. Yay. Woohoo. Now rendering, I think it will save in your, you'll be saved in your Oculus Quest. Then you can use the these two shots. I want to do another experiment. Okay, cool. So that was the process of me making the short intro. I did a little more experiment later on. And the tricky part is you just have to make sure you open new project when you start shooting a new scene. If you don't, then you will record with the previous camera location and it's not moving i did a couple mistakes each scene is considered as one project and you can only shoot one scene with different camera and you can up to you can use up to 10 cameras for that one scene you just have to try and um, figure out what do you want and maybe you can have your own 3d assets that you can keep exploring what's possible. When you start a Ribla app, they will have short tutorials that you can use. So if you have any questions, you can go back to tutorial and go take a look. If you have further questions, you can probably ask us. I'll try to figure out. For now, I think I get it because as you can see in the background, I was trying with two of my avatar and you can also make little little creative scene using two of your avatar. You just have to keep trying and keep playing with it. 
my favorite part about this is you do feel like a director and actor inside a VR because you see how the camera is moving and you create a little scene by yourself. You use different kind of background. So it's a lot of fun. I want to see what you guys think and how you guys create new projects, new anime character with your avatar. So please share on our Discord channel if you wanted to share your work. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next video.